So in this video we are going to cover that all algorithms and flowcharts and then I will be doing the commands and number systems in the next video. So let's get on to the video. And now coming to the algorithms and flowcharts. So you can think of an algorithm in a loose manner as a step by step procedure of doing something. So in algorithm what we do is we'll be taking a like we'll be having a problem to be solved which is under our under our like under our vision you can call it in that way. So what we'll be doing is that in order to solve this problem we might be having different ways. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be choosing a single way and then what we'll be doing is that we'll be writing a step by step procedure to solve that problem that step by step procedure of writing a solution for a problem or a task to be done is regarded as your algorithm and then coming to the flow chart a flow chart is a pictorial representation of the step by step procedure which you do so we can think this as a pictorial representation of the algorithm so what we'll be seeing in flowcharts is that we need to start a process or stop a process so that is given by this elliptical symbol and then coming to the next thing we'll be taking inputs or outputs from the users which can be seen in this in this kind of box in as it is a pictorial representation we will be using this kind of box and then if there 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 comes a case where we need to be checking for a particular condition and if the condition happens then the way of doing the problem solution changes in that case we will be using this kind of boxes so these kind of boxes rhombus shaped boxes diamond or diamond shaped are used where we have a decision making and then we'll be having different connecting lines between different boxes these are the connecting lines which can be used between different boxes and then if we have a like if a page is not sufficient for us then we could draw a circle in between over here this circle is called as a connector and then from here we can go over to a different place of execution this is called as jumping which i'll be discussing in later case so from here we could jump over to here depending on the conditions and all those things so le le let's make a simple like algorithm or le let's first make an algorithm to check if a person is eligible to vote or not so in this, in the process of writing an algorithm an algorithm as i have said it is a step by step procedure first we'll be starting so we'll be starting in the first step in the second step we need to take the necessary inputs like as of now we'll be taking name and then we'll be taking uh, the user age and then in the third step what we'll be doing is we'll be processing the data here as we are going to be doing like voting about voting so the thing is that what we need to be doing is that we need to check if the age is greater than or equal to 18 then the person is eligible to vote so if the third condition is satisfied if this condition is satisfied is satisfied then we'll be going into then we'll be we'll be going into the next step let's say then we'll be going into the fourth step the fourth step is so you will be declaring or else telling the outputting that the user is eligible eligible for voting if this condition is false which is in the third statement 
if that condition is false then we are going to the fifth step so in this case the fifth step is that we will be outputting that he is not eligible that the user is not eligible for word and uh, after that in the next step we will be exiting or else we will be stopping the process this is the algorithm for telling if a user is eligible to vote or not so if we do these steps in a pictorial representation let me show it to you now in a pictorial representation that is only called as a flow chart let me show it to you so in the flow chart first thing we'll be starting we'll be starting and then what we'll be doing is that we will be let me write it over here we are going to start over here in the next step we'll be taking the oh and one more thing i missed out this taking input and output box i am unable to find it and let me draw it and show it to you it is like parallelogram shape parallelogram shaped box which looks something like this this box is used to take the input from the user so what we'll be doing is that in the second step we'll be taking the input from the user this is the stage where we'll be taking the input from the user so we'll be asking for the person to enter enter your age enter your age and we'll be taking the input and and then in the next step what we need to do is we need to be processing the age so as we have written we need an if like condition checking or the decision making over here so what we'll be doing is we'll be using this rhombus box to check for the condition let me try it a bit So in this, in this we will be checking about the condition checking if age is greater than 18. So if age is greater than 18 then we need to be going if this equals if this is true then we will be outputting. will be outputting that the user is eligible to vote eligible to vote and then we'll be stopping our process and this is a process where we'll be stopping it stop it that's it and then let's say if the age is not greater than or equal to i missed it over here if it is not greater than or equal to 18 what we'll be doing is that we'll be telling that the user is not eligible so what we'll be telling that not eligible and then we are going to terminate our process so if this is not true if this is false the condition is false we are going to do this and then we are going to start the process this is a vectorial representation in this way the same thing can be seen in the both the things so in algorithm what we do is that we will be giving a theoretical or like text format of the solution of a given problem but then in graphically or pictorially we can show that the same problem can be solved in the flowchart this is the thing about the flowcharts so why i am introducing these things why because we will be using the programming languages to solve some particular problems so we need to first either write an algorithm to solve that problem 
or, or else we need to draw a flowchart to solve the problem so once if you either write the algorithm or else if you draw the flowchart you will be knowing about the different cases and the different see the true case is seen over here in this in this part and the let me the true case is seen over here so we'll be handling that case over here and the false case not eligible case is seen over here so this makes our work a bit easy so in advance we'll be seeing the different things in before we start actual programming so what happens is that if you start programming and come over to a certain point and then afterwards if some cases are missed you will be in a problem of changing every code so in to overcome that first only we suggest to write a algorithm or flowchart that is it about the algorithms and flowcharts